Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Arnavi Mitra and I am a software developer at Amazon. So as you know, I have recently switched from a service based company to Amazon. So and I promise that I will be sharing my journey, how I worked on my portfolio and my interview experience, everything. So in this video, I will be talking about how I strong, uh, how I worked on my portfolio and what are the projects I worked on from my college days to uh, before uh, like joining Amazon. So each and every project I will be talking about. So in this video I will co cover my college projects, the projects I work uh, as a employer uh, in one company, I mean as a working person. And also I will give a suggestion to you like what kind of projects you can work even though you are a student or you are a working professional, how you can uh, strong your portfolio. My okay, so let's start with my projects of college. So in my college, I was mostly interested in Python, data science, machine learning. I did some courses on machine learning. And my main interest was on uh, mainly for the uh, machine learning projects where we can do some prediction or we can publish one paper and uh, fortunately I got the offer and uh, one of uh, my and actually it was a group project and our paper was uh, published uh, I will show you the paper you can go to my uh, website the link will be in the description and from there you can get this link so here it's the uh, paper uh, link uh, this was published in 2019 it was mainly how we can give a ranking to IPL team uh, and then based on their ratings and all we, we can form one IPL team so the main strategy for this paper was to uh, it is for the people uh, for the franchisee so that we can uh, they can uh, get the idea from here based on our algorithms and logics and they can have it so obviously we needed the machine learning and uh, this kind of knowledge but mainly it was more on algorithm so it's not a complete machine learning project but also i uh, should say it's a data structure algorithm uh, also needed for it so this is in my cv and uh, the as the paper is published is actually uh, like increase the uh, increase my uh, portfolio and give a good impact in my portfolio and other than that i want to uh, say that uh, uh, i worked on many other projects uh, paper projects mainly like semi finalist prediction of world cup uh, and then i did my internship from iist there also i worked on one theoretical concept like droplet routing in digital microfluidic biochip you can go and check in google about digital microfluidic biochip and from there you can get the idea how the things are there so there we applied graph uh, logic from and how we could do so it's not fully machine learning but also we needed the data structures and algorithm so these are the my projects uh, in my college now after my college completed and i joined infosys and got training my interest uh, started building on full stack development thing and then i worked on some projects i only uh, gave three important projects other than that i worked on many projects i i will be talking so let's uh, talk about the first thing i started learning uh, html css javascript and i thought this will be a good thing to show as well my data structure knowledge and uh, how well i can use uh, html css and especially javascript to do uh, sorting visualization so i am showing you the this thing uh, and tell you what i have doing so it's only for three sorting algorithm bubble sort insertion sort and selection sort you can also go and check this uh, this is deployed freely so you can go and uh, check this and you can see all the sorting algorithm it will be working so here like uh, i showed uh, how is things are doing and uh, it was a uh, good project uh, uh, i consider it because that time i was learning and uh, uh, it give a good impact uh, if uh, it's a uh, for beginner so i have added this in my cv as well also i worked on uh, 
like uh, tic tac toe and i mean many gaming things uh, i would say that when you are learning web development this gaming things are also very much important but uh, as i always uh, focus uh, on data structure and try to take uh, this kind of things everywhere so i focused on uh, this particular projects so if you want to work uh, you you can add this kind of project not sorting visualization you can visualize any algorithm you can visualize binary search algorithm or uh, like if you are doing a uh, dynamic programming algorithm you can visualize this mainly graph things like how bfs and dfs are doing you can create a visualization on it it will be very good uh, project to add in portfolio now the next thing is real time chatting application i will show you why i thought to do it because uh, i was in one of my interview and that time i was talking about one of my project i worked on a e commerce projects and then interviewer came, came and asked me it's uh, if you are doing it real time will your project work i said no because it it's not possible to do this kind of thing in real time so that time i got the idea why can't we do something real real time so i used only node js and socket programming for this uh, chat application and i can suggest you can also do it you just only need the node js socket programming and obviously and javascript to uh, to implement this and uh, you can have a good uh, impact in your portfolio and the next thing is i have done a uh, note saving application basically i did a udemy course on min stack and it's a full application where i added the crud operation of database like create uh, delete uh, re create read delete uh, update and also authentication and authorization so this kind of things were added here and uh, uh you can see that i prepared this using uh, angular and i have angular form authentication authorization will be happen here and i it's a full stack application and i will always say if you if you have interest in uh, front end or back end or full stack you should have at least one full stack application be it one note saving application food ordering application or e-commerce application you should have an uh, application like this so that it will have a heavy impact on your cv so that your cv can be selected uh, in a good way so these are the my application uh, my uh, uh projects uh, main projects other than that as i mentioned i worked on many papers uh, many small uh, uh gaming applications uh, i had one small e-commerce applications and uh, and uh, but uh, based on the e-commerce i prefer to give this application in my cv because uh, it's uh, for me it's uh, better than that application so these are the my applications now i will uh, tell you uh, if you are planning to do what kind of project uh, you should work to uh, have a heavy impact on your cv so as you already uh, saw all my projects now here i will be giving some uh, advice like what kind of projects you should work and you can have in your cv so first i will start with Uh, if you have interest in machine learning or data science, what kind of project you work? You can work like uh, you, the first very basic thing is uh, pro uh, housewise prediction. I can see if you want to start your uh, learning, you can have it and you can keep it in your CV until you are working on another uh, good or big projects. And after that, you can work on many things like uh, COVID data set is there in uh, Kaggle. You can take and you can do work on some kind of prediction on that. Also, you can do some uh, social experiment kind of prediction. For that, you need. some expert uh, uh, some uh, input from all uh, like many people so if you have that peep uh, he have that um, data then you can do some social experiment kind of thing and you, based on that you can give some predictions and uh, also uh, you can take a uh, cricket or any sports uh, database and you can work on that because uh, two of my pro projects were based on cricket data set so these are the domains you can work 
and if you have a good project you can try uh, for publication of paper as well so these are the thing i would suggest you can keep in your cv if you have interest in machine learning domain and you can and you are applying for this kind of role and also if your target is to come to any uh, fang or good product based company so make sure that you are applying database and algorithm things in each and every project so that you can uh, have a strong uh, like in everything you can show that how good you are at this and you have the application of data structures in every projects now next i will move on to web blog development so if you have only interested in front end though i will always suggest it's better if you have interest in full stack so that you can switch based on your interest back end and front end so i will always suggest to go for full stack so first i will uh, show about like web development what kind of projects you can start with you can have some gaming any gaming you can start with tic tac to any reminder game or anything and you can have it in your cv until you work on something uh, good or big uh, thing and also one thing that you can work on your portfolio website the way i have worked uh, i have created my website by my own so you can have the first thing like after doing gaming and all you should focus on your portfolio website and then you can work on some bigger thing but anyway you need the back end for that so i will come to full stack thing for full stack uh, as a basic you can start with any food ordering uh, flight booking hotel booking this kind of things and then you can go like uh, uh, note saving application or a good e-commerce application if you have then it's enough you can have that in your cv then it's fine now these are the things i talk and i will also tell i want to tell about android development though i don't have that much knowledge but if you want to try you can try with uh, bus booking a uh, voting application this kind of application you can start so these are the thing or project ideas uh, i think you can try to make your cv uh, stronger and if you have any other doubt or any query and you want any suggestion you can tell me in the comment section i will read and try to answer all your queries and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and also you can join my telegram group where we can connect and if you have any query i will try to answer them thank you